Hi, in this video I've got another book review for you. So these three books are really, really special. Now the reason for that is because these books were used at MIT. Now that alone really makes these books worth checking out because MIT usually uses really good textbooks. Now these three texts are really rigorous and I mean that's a fair assumption given that they were used at MIT. And if that is the case, these three books are excellent texts for the introductory sequence on physics. So first of all, we have classical mechanics, electricity and magnetism, and vibrations and waves. So a pretty normal um, introductory sequence. But the reason that MIT does it so well is because they rigorously treat each subject, whereas lots of universities will just have one big class uh, called uh, just an introduction to physics, where they just clump all these topics together, and they're not that rigorous, they're just trying to get it done and conserve time but these they go through each topic individually and rigorously treat each one so the, this is why these books are excellent because they are extremely rigorous treatments of these introductory topics so i have a full review of this first one here that i will leave in the description i intend to fully review these two down here at some later time but for now i will just briefly go through them so this first book here we've got an introduction to mechanics by Kleppner and colin Cow. So first of all, we have excellent printing here by Cambridge Press. Really great hardcover. But of course, we want to know about the content. So this book assumes that you have some knowledge of high school physics and you've taken physics in high school. And that's why I said that this isn't really more, this isn't really an introduction book in my review, because uh, this, do, this book is quite mathematically rigorous. It does require a lot of math, particularly um, differential equations, uh, calculus, multivariable calculus, so pretty mathematically rigorous for an introduction class on physics. Definitely a lot more rigorous than what they teach uh, the universities in my country. So as we can see, we start off with vectors and kinematics. And we've got Newton's laws, momentum, energy. It's pretty normal topics, but they are treated very rigorously. So a lot more information, a lot more detail than you'll typically find in just a uh, normal uh, university physics book. Topics and dynamics, angular momentum and fixed axis rotation, rigid body motion. So yeah, definitely some high level topics. Non-inertial reference frames, central force motion, the harmonic oscillator, and some topics in relativity. So this book has um, hints and selected answers at the back as well. So really nice to check your work and the hints are great. So overall, this book is an excellent book on mechanics. It's a really rigorous introduction. Um, I would recommend it if you've had some physics before, um, but I could also recommend this if you do have uh, a high level of mathematical competence. Next up, we have Electricity and Magnetism. So this is by Purcell and Morin. So you can pretty much guarantee that if Morin's an author on a book, then the problems in the book are excellent. And that is definitely true here in this case. This book contains, as we can see, 200 solved end of chapter problems and a further 350 homework exercises. So this book has a total of, of, of course, 550 problems. All these problems are really excellent. I really enjoyed working on them. Of course, I haven't done all of them, but I intend to uh, go through more of them on my YouTube channel. So... Let's open, let's open this thing up. It's pretty good printing by Cambridge Press also. So we've got electric, electrostatics. Electric potential. Electric fields. Electric currents. Magnetic field. Fields of moving charges. And then we've got electromagnetic induction, alternating current circuits, and then we've got Maxwell's equations. So just a really excellent treatment of Maxwell's equations. It was really enjoyable. Electric fields and matter. And then we've got the solutions to the problems. So it solves 200 out of the 550. The rest are intended for instructors. And these problems are excellent. They're good solutions, full solutions. Uh, so it's the, it's the latter half of the text, so it takes up quite a few pages. 
and they're good solutions. Good. As we can see, it's chapter three right here, fully worked solutions, very well explained, typically. Highly recommend it. So this book was used for uh, 8022. I don't think it's used anymore in the current um, MIT. I think they use it in Open Learning Library. So I will link in the description. Um, I think I don't think they use this anymore, but regardless, I think this is an excellent text and I would highly recommend it to um, beginners on electricity and magnetism. Uh, it is quite advanced, it's quite rigorous, but it's really excellent, really excellent treatment. Um, of course, some vector calculus should suffice um, for this book. Oh, and probably some differential equations as well, <laughs> certainly, but mostly um, vector calculus in this book. So next, this book right here is a gem. I'm very lucky that I managed to get a hardcover of this book, um, a physical print at all, but particularly the first edition hardcover. So I'll talk more about this in um, the review I make of this book, but I was very lucky to get this. You can download this book for free on the MIT OpenCourseWay site. Um, it's a free PDF. So this book is by Howard Georgi. I don't know how to say that. Georgi? Georgi? I'm not sure. Sorry, I probably just totally butchered that name. But yeah, so this book is um, has a bit of a reputation for being very difficult and very hard to read. Um, I didn't necessarily have that experience when I read this book. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty easy to read. I don't think it was that hard to read. Um, if you were going to use this just as a standalone text, I think it would be quite difficult. But if you pair it with uh, MIT's OpenCourseWare um, 803, then this book is an excellent choice. It's really, really rigorous on the physics of waves, um, particularly in the mathematics. It really goes right in depth. If you want to know in depth all the mathemat mathematical detail of waves, then this book is definitely for you. And I'm very glad that they used it, in, it that they used it at MIT, and have a full course for free on the internet and this book for free. So, 100% recommend going and checking this out. So first up, we've got the harmonic oscillator forced oscillations. So if you've had a course in classical mechanics about the level of Taylor, um, a lot of these topics you would have probably discussed, but this book goes a lot more in depth, of course, and it, of course it brings up a lot of new topics as well. So we've got normal modes here, symmetries, waves, continuum limit and Fourier series. So Fourier series, very good, um, high level subject. Longitudinal oscillations in sound, traveling waves, boundary and infinity, signals and Fourier analysis. Again, difficult, high level subject. More dimensions, polarization, and interference and diffraction. So the problems in this book are also quite challenging. So this is an excellent book. So I hope after watching this video, I've motivated you to go out and get some of these books or go to and or go to MIT OpenCourseWare and check out some of their free material. Uh, it's invaluable, the material that they offer. And thank you for watching this video.